Welcome to the Agent Program Initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you, and identify your target. Hmm. That mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. Please, no! You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. Might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Right. They won't find him anytime soon. uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just... act normal. Hello. Hold on. That mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. Right. Now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. You're in. Well done, Initiate. I presume you had a look at Four Niner. No? For sure. That is your target, Mr. Ritter. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. I suggest you follow him. See if you can't isolate him. Hmm, to be expected. 
Mitter's private deck is off limits for mechanics. If assimilation is the name of your game, you'll need a better disguise. Leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're looking at. Very unorthodox. I like it. private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforced who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. Making us look bad. Chew your food Blending in, I see. <laughs> well done, Initiate. You to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. The Sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. No. Uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Aye, aye, Captain. This merger couldn't come at a more opportune time. The world's biggest video rental chain and its largest music retailer together at last. What could possibly be? Hmm. Clearly, Mitter doesn't want to be disturbed. Try sneaking around the back. No sailors, please. Wow. So you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a Wait revolution. for it. 50 years ahead of its time. Maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but... Whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now is your chance. Use your silence. It's still the client will note. Head calmly towards an exit. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint, 
It could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. First things first, we need to gather some intel. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but I would eavesdrop on the two mechanics just beyond the fence. Protocol for the jet. Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, you really have to do this. All things considered, we're putting a tasty fake egg tent inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one you does it, it's mandatory. Pick the box and get it done. So. Jasper Knight is leaving Cuba on a Soviet fighter jet, but first he needs to test the jet's safety features. Right, let's get you inside. You'll need a fitting disguise. Hmm, a guard uniform. One should do nicely, but you'll need to draw him out and isolate him. Hey, all right. Hi, uh, I think I heard something. Moving in to see what? Good, he's distracted. Now's your chance. Sir! Oh. <sighs> and they say cash is obsolete. This uniform should provide access to the hangar. Good job, Anishi. adjustments to the jet and perform the role of safety inspector, you're going to need a mechanic's disguise. Perfect. Now be gentle. He's an actor.
Right. Now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been disabled. You may need a tool to re-enable it. Front your target. Knight's office should be somewhere on the first floor. Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident waiting to happen. Mr. Mechanic, what's up? Salutations, my friend. Jasper Knight? We gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Oh, must we really? Is it dangerous? Well, it must be, mustn't it? Why else would there be a safety protocol? I'm not crazy about airplanes. Is it going to do that thing where it flips on its head? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Don't worry. You're in good hands. This way, please. He does prattle on, doesn't he? Anyway, you're almost there, Initiate. All you need to do is read him the instructions in the manual by the jet, and Knight will take care of the rest. Boy, is he in for a ride. Hey, good to see you, man. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one. Strap yourself in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, yes, found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Right, here it goes. Pull. use a functioning jet. Good thing you didn't save this parachute. Anyway, you did it. Excellent work, Initiate. I bet Sodas didn't see this coming. Now stay calm and head towards an exit. You know that guy who flew in from Moscow? He's the real McCoy. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight.
So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant's security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dahlia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. Really? himself.
How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and can potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get close to the virus. Good luck, 47. his life. A good man. Someone I knew. He was 
It was just a tiny little slip up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel morgue, and I want to pay my respects. Say how sorry I am. But he's dead, Father. And nothing I say will bring him back. If I go, am I merely being selfish? My child. An accident at the ether lab has claimed... Grief is for the living, not the dead. You do whatever you need to do. Room secure. Leave me, Bernard. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I want to be alone. Ma'am? Oh, can you? You're dead, and you still look stressed out. <laughs> so, now I have you to feel guilty about. Great. We build a weapon that will kill thousands. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. I got a feeling today is And a good day to you, sir. Give me a break.
What the? Securities in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you.
Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Hmm. Excess key card in the parking garage. Oh, are you kidding? Uh, I need to get back there before XO tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel, it's way faster. Yeah, yeah. Of off. He's some kind of soldier.
You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. What's the situation on street level? Chanting, flag waving, chest beating. Understood. Move the package now! Yeah, yeah. Get ready. We got trouble. Safe zone. Okay, Ramiz, check the goddamn exit. Roger. Heads up. We have a situation. All right. Could have been a lot worse. We're all in one piece. Oh, thank you. I thought I was dead for a minute. Good job. Good show, Sergeant. The school's just across the alley. Go on, we got your backs. Oh, finally! Yes. This is Team One Leader. We're at the safe house. Proceeding toward the rendezvous point, over. Okay, let's go. isn't the most wanted man in Morocco. This is Gate. The package is secure. Over.
Things are heating up. Be advised. And I have nothing to report. Our weapon's hot. And I have arrived at the location. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Hi, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Praia River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, 
ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. As Welcome, sir. We are happy to help you in any way possible. I hope you'll enjoy the hippopotamus. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate fixer.
Ma'am, I'd like to inspect the penthouse now. Get the hell away! Very well, I'll make the call. But I'm warning you, no slip-ups, especially not with young Master Cross on his... Just don't! Very well, I'll make the call. But I'm warning you, no slip-ups, especially not with young Master Cross on... I should just ignore you. Hey, Bugman, how you doing? Very well, I'll make the call. But I'm warning you, no slip-ups, especially not with young Master Cross on his way down. If any of those toxins get into the ventilation system, oh, that, you could that, gas that, the that whole the atrium. Understood, ma'am. I'm just really tired. They have crickets keeping me up at night. Yes, hello, this is the manager. I am so sorry to disturb... Oh, nice day indeed. for it, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> the pest exterminator. Die young, tend to die at the exact age of 27. Yeah, okay, but only celebrities? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally so. Join us in the atrium for refreshment. I promise it won't take long. Okay, okay. bye. Thank you. Mr. Morgan, sir. When can I have my suite? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen suite is ready for you. Follow me. Well, that was relatively fast. Very well. Lead the way. Oh, yes, yes. No, go on. Go on with your works. That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. No, you did. Morgan! You brown nose! Did what you get are clean you towels? Here? Uh, Jordan, my boy. Fancy seeing you here. Cut the shit, Morgan! Did he send you here? Huh? Did my father hey, send you here to, to you. spy on me? <laughs> I knew it! I knew this would happen! Oh, wait. Are you two in cahoots? You my father's lab dog, too? Oh, and you, Morgan, you flabby sycophant. What's in it for you? Huh? This old vampire grooming you for CEO? Is that why you let him treat you like his two-bit errand boy? Huh? Where's your silver tongue now? Jordan, if you will just... Calm down. I think I can explain. Things are not this black and white. What do you say we stop making a scene and continue this conversation in my suite? Oh, this better be good. Hurry 
up. Get cracking. We could do with a fresh mopping here. All right, get out. This is between myself and Master Cross. Um, you sure? That's wise, sir. Do it, Otis. Mr. Morgan. Okay, start talking, Morgan. I will tell you the truth. You must understand. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Your father was merely being sagacious. What are you babbling about? Hannah Highmore's death tape. The proverbial smoking gun that you so precariously kept for yourself instead of destroying the evidence. That's why I'm here. Oh, Dixie. Don't be too hard on Miss Barrett. Everyone has a price, and it is usually lower than you'd think. We did not mean to use it, of course. Not unless you left your father no choice. Oh, you wouldn't dare. You covered it up. Look, I'll take you down with me. All right? You and my dad. Your father and I acted in good faith. How were we to know that Dexy Barrett helped you tamper with the crime scene, made it look like an accident? It's Miss Barrett you call on the tape, not your father. The bribes and the hush money all came from offshore accounts in your name. Don't bullshit me, Jordan. You and I are in very different leagues. A bastard! Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Dad? Please call me. It happened again. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.
shot. Thomas Cross had billions in hidden offshore accounts, all stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47.
breaking the mask. What the hell are you talking about? I'm just at the security station watching the feed. This creepy guy interrogating the hostage. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate turned insurgent. Confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. Sean Rose in charge of operations. Give me a break!
Asian guy with the mask? What bird was it? What the hell's going on? You know what? I talked to him earlier about the response. Oh yeah, the vans. From what I'm hearing, they're getting... I just came in here to check on everything. So you all right? Sure. What's up, bro? Oh, you know, just, you know, wanted to make sure everything was running smoothly. So, the connection's secure? No weird signals or anything? No weird signals, no. Connectivity's a bit of a problem, but we're rerouting some things. It all looks fine. Should we be on alert? <laughs> no. No, I, uh, I just like making sure. <laughs> Big ears out there, you know? You can, um, never be too careful. Sure. We're on top of it. No need to worry. Glad to hear it. If you encounter anything unusual, let me know immediately. Yeah? Sure, Graves. We'll keep you in the loop.
We do not accept any trespassing. Violators will be shot and survivors will be shot again. Don't come back here. Hope you understand that. Penelope Graves, we need to talk. You're, uh, what is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest. Do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. So I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Those were some seriously hard people. I'm beginning to see how she got so rough around the edge. Find me. That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. Recruit? And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, can you just leave me alone for a few minutes? I've got some thinking to do. I'm sure Rose won't mind. Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that vanisher guy. Oh, it looked clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burner phone was dropped before I left the flight. It can't possibly be that. Diplomatic car out of Denver. Nothing unusual about the bus ride. Met up with Hall in the middle of nowhere. Burned everything. I saw her do it. There's... There's no... <gasps> Graves is down. Excellent work.
Opfer dank der Electric. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. Yesterday. Another one. Oh, do tell. Okay, so you know how Rose. Off center, and he just went full OCD. Had to go outside and chain smoke half of What? <laughs> Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingfort, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So does. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences.
Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your partner Good evening. 
47. I have intel about that bandaged patient. Terry? Terry, Terry, it's John. Listen, I need your help. On... Well, I... Fred, that pose we talked about, destroyer of the universe, well, it sort of backfired. I was, uh, I was feeling so good this morning, too. I just felt so centered and so pure. And then the director came up and asked me to grab a lesson with Yuki Yamazaki, that, that Yakuza lawyer who's staying here I told you about. Oh, bad karma. Bad karma, man. Just terrible karma. Well, I'm not sure what happened exactly. I thought I had it, but then somehow I, I pulled something back there. No, back there. I can't walk very well now, and I've seen that Yamazaki woman stalking around the yoga platform, and I've been dodging calls from the director all morning, so I need, I just need a favor. I... I need you to call up the hospital, tell them you're my brother, make up some family emergency that I need to fly back home for right away. Why not? <laughs> mom won't find out. Terry, look, I know you're only 12. No, don't get mom, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. Damn it. Hi, mom. Hi, hello, mother. No, 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 everything's fine here. Just, I was just... Chatting with my little bro, just talking about all his video games and all that fun stuff that he's... All his shoot 'em ups We're cool. <laughs> Listen, I've got to run, okay? Next appointment's here. Talk to you soon, okay? I love you. Okay, yes, yes, hello. Say hi to Dad. Okay, bye. Damn it.
Please, mister. Please behave. Mister Jason Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for. Mr. Jason Portman, a doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Miss Yamazaki, I believe you booked time for a yoga lesson? Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. Glad you're here. If you will just follow me. to make her spirit and body fly. I'm ready to begin. I'm ready to begin. Miss Yamasaki. Very well. Let's begin. Let us begin with upward facing dog when you're ready. into Lord of the Dance. Remember to breathe throughout. Warrior two pose. Core, strength. Stay there for a while. Changing sides. Be strong. And finally, tree pose. This one is tricky. Find a good spot for it. This is a view to die for. Ah! Target 
take it down. Now it's time for Sodas to retire. Forty-seven. I have intel regarding the pilot. I managed to gather intel from the hospital secure. doing you, you've got to leave right now okay please hey would you mind a little privacy please Sorry, but uh, I need you to leave, okay? Thank you. 
Nails, I, uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. You're not an errand boy. Lead the way. I, I, I took pilot lessons myself, actually. Didn't get the license, though. I always felt like my hands were definitely something greater. Here we are. Help yourself. Thanks, Nails. You're a champion. Easy does it, Doc. I'm, I'm fine. I can, I can take it. I just need a kick in the ass. Well done, 47. This should provide you with the means to get close to sodas. Greetings, Doc. Take care, Doctor.
Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. We can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... We are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... This is maintenance.